But I would be tempted to uh, ask our Chinese guest uh, what, his view, what is his view on where we are uh, in terms of the recovery. Uh, China has not had a recession experience. Uh, so it's a, bit, it's a bit different of the major uh, powers. Uh, what is uh, also the situation in terms of what could be the macroeconomic consequences of the uh, geopolitical situation with the USA? Uh, so wh wh what is the recovery in your, in, in your mind? And how could you be in a situation where China finances the US, the trade has never been that high, the US deficit has never been that high, the interdependence has never been that high, yet uh, we have a major uncertainty on this relationship. Okay. Yeah, yeah thank you uh, for your uh, introduction. Um, relative to other economies, uh, China economy has been doing better uh, since the uh, outbreak of the pandemic. Uh, last year, the GDP growth uh, in China is 2.3 percent. Um, as Mr. Vernon mentioned, um, China Chinese government uh, took very strict approach, uh, even locked down whole city. Uh, so the fundamental reason behind the economic growth uh, is Chinese government uh, is taking approach we call zero cleaning uh, approach. So in China, uh, we are pretty much live a normal life, uh, except when we enter the public affair, we have to wear masks or show our green code on our uh, mobile phone. Uh, the success of the approach in China uh, due to several reasons. Uh, I guess probably due to uh, China have a special social structure and a cultural habit. Uh, for example, most people are willing to give up uh, partial personal freedom and uh, partial uh, privacy for collective interest. Also, high tech uh, play very important role in this area because most Chinese are using smartphone everywhere. So it's unlikely for other country to copy or use the approach uh, in China. Also, the approach itself is not costless. The, actually, the consumption in China lagged behind. Well, export became a major uh, driving force. I think it cannot be successful, uh, sustainable, uh, uh, because when you look at the date uh, in past two months, in July and August, they have already shown the growth a little bit slowing down. Uh, for example, in fixed capital investment, uh, in August, only 8%, 8.9%. You have to remember in May, the fixed capital investment grows 15.4%. Uh, also consumption in August only grows 2.5%. So China also facing uh, uh, some uncertainty and uh, and the challenges. First of all, they have to transfer from uh, zero clean approach 
to a more tolerant way. Second, they have to make a balance uh, between reasonable uh, economic growth and uh, prevent financial risks. Uh, probably you heard some news happening in China. One of the largest developed uh, uh, Honda got a trouble in their date, date issue. So that's something Chinese government have to deal with. Another big issue or big uncertainty is the relationship with with the United States. Um, in uh, since um, Trump administration uh, took regime, uh, the relationship between U.S. and uh, China get worse uh, uh, until re um, Biden administration, because. Biden administration still try to uh, effort to unite airlines to contain China. But good thing is we can see after second telephone call between Biden and uh, Xi Jinping, it seems the tension is a little bit of easing up, uh, at least in rhetoric and the service. Uh, a recent example, uh, the release of Meng Wanzhou, C CFO of Wei Technology. Uh, of course, the competition between US and China will last for many, many years in the future. Uh, the, the, the problem for US and the Chinese government they have to control managing the, the competition in order to avoid the confrontation, uh, which is very dangerous, uh, not only to US and China, but also to the whole world. I guess in the, in the future, uh, the outlook of the political and uh, economic uh, outlook in the world pretty much depend on the tension on the relationship between US and China. Uh, whether these two countries can uh, well handle their, their relationship. I just stop here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Yidi. Uh, uh, it was uh, an impressive uh, view of uh, the Chinese uh, situation, and you mentioned how cultural has been the response. It's not purely a question of economics. It's, it has been uh, a very uh, efficient cultural and political response, in a sense. Uh, uh, and it explains a lot of the uh, recovery very fast recovery. You also mentioned how much the exports are driving uh, the, 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 the economy. Uh, uh, and on this US-China, and I think you will have questions in the audience, uh, competition is there for many, many, many years. Uh, already in the previous session, Mr. Thomas G Gomar underlined the fact that China has become the first partner for trade and sometimes also for investment, namely in uh, infrastructures, but has become by far the number one trade partner. If you take a continent I know a bit better than others, Africa, China is the first partner of 48 countries out of 55. It's quite an achievement. Yeah. It's quite an achievement. And if you consider the European Union as a whole and as one country, yes, <clears throat> here is the real competition. Because the 
The other major partner is the European Union. And then it's a totally different picture if you do not consider uh, Germany, France, and so on, isolated by the European Union and the real competition. And I was a bit surprised because it has not been evoked in the previous uh, session. The European Union is the first uh, player of the international trade challenged by China. The US is nowhere. Just because this sim simple addition of exports of Germany plus France, or Germany plus Italy, or Germany plus Benelux, is more than the total of the US exports. Only two countries, among the big countries, big economies of the European Union, are enough to match the exports of the United States of America. So, yes, it's very interesting, this competition between China and US, and it is there for a long time, and it's very important sec in major sectors. Yet, the main partners, and probably for decades in, 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 in the trade, as we see that in emerging countries, is European Union versus China. And here, it's more collaborative and less, uh, less of a problem. But thank you very much, and I think you will have many, many questions. Mm -hmm.